Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! Wishing you all the best in 2017. I cannot get over how fast 2016 blew by, but yeah, here we are, January 1st, and ushering in a new year, and I'm so thankful to be doing that with you guys. <laughs> Anyways, my first video of the year is on my favorite protective hairstyles. So I don't get too adventurous actually with protective hairstyles because I feel like I'm always late and always in a rush. So generally, I just whip my hair into a bun and use one of those pinchy alligator clips to secure it. But I thought one of my New Year's resolutions would be is to try out some protective hairstyles that are a bit prettier, a bit more different. <laughs> Instead of always having my hair in a bun, it gets pretty boring. So to start, I have washed and deep conditioned my hair using the Garnier Legendary Olive Line. That's another thing that I've been doing. I've been getting into the drugstores and into Walmart and just researching what conditioners and shampoos are out there that are affordable and effective, and I've found quite a few. Um, my go-to brands are Garnier. Uh, they've been offering up some amazingly thick, rich, and super detangling conditioners. This legendary olive line, and this one is kicking butt. It is so, so great. So I've been using these two over the past week. I've washed my hair twice. Um, after a workout, I wash my hair with these two products, and then I also use the uh, Whole Blends Legendary Olive Deep Conditioner Leave-In Treatment. It's, um, yeah, leave-in conditioner. These products, by the way, are also silicone-free and paraben-free, so in the long run, they won't dry out your hair. Silicones coat your hair, apparently, and dry them out. I haven't had too much of a problem with that, but another thing that I'm going to commit to trying in 2017 are more silicone-free products. So earlier this week, I used these, whipped my hair into a bun, like damp, and just left it, and then... Yesterday, I used these products to deep condition my hair. In addition to using the Legendary Olive uh, conditioner, I added some of the Creole Essence Haitian Black Castor Oil to it and made a nice mixture. I will delve into that in a later clip. Or how about we just do it right now? I'll show you how I made it. So I want to make a super deep conditioner, so I'm going to take this stuff, which smells incredible, and mix in the Haitian black castor oil into the uh, conditioner and uh, apply it to my hair. So if you guys have been watching my videos, I've been using this stuff for a while now. I picked it up from Malachite and Elephant. Anyways, let's mix this stuff up. Oh, nice and thick. Love it putting a generous amount because I have a ton of hair. I think that'll do it, maybe a little more. It's like honey. There's my conditioner mixture. Um, I'm going to go apply it to my hair now and wrap it up in a super attractive plastic bag, cover it up with a hat, and I'm going to go run some errands now. So. Hey everybody, so I'm here uh, filming in my living room because it's getting super dark out, because there's a blizzard, because, you know, Canada. <sighs> Anyways. So I just washed my hair with all of that Whole Blends Legendary Olive stuff, and here is the leave-in conditioner. Um, I have to say that those products, the shampoo and the conditioner, are amazing. Like, I combed out this side of my hair. It is so soft. That conditioner is so detangling. It's like butter, too. It's uber thick. So yeah, that was a really great score. So I just wanted to show you, um, I didn't put any detangler in it or anything, but my, my comb is just going, like it's sliding through my hair. It's really, really detangling. I'm really happy with this stuff. Um, I am also at this point, <clears throat> 10 weeks post relaxer. 
So if that conditioner can get through this hair, uh, awesome. And I'm now I'm going to put in the leave-in conditioner. Apply a quarter size amount to damp or dry hair and distribute gently and evenly. Do not rinse. So let's see here. Um, ooh, it's quite thick too. It smells amazing. I'm just going to put a little in because I don't want my hair to get weighed down. Um, put it through the back. And um, on to the rest of the video, my favorite protective hairstyles. See ya in a bit. Yeah, I am highly impressed with those products. I absolutely love them. The conditioner is so, so thick, like as you can see from that clip. And it is wonderful at detangling. I am telling you, deep con if you're having problems with your hair, if you're experiencing breakage, lots of tangles, or your hair is not growing, Deep conditioner is going to save your life and a good trim, but deep conditioner just makes all of the difference. And if you can't afford high-end brands, um, Garnier offers up some really, really affordable options. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with these. Um, I wish I knew about them a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I just threw the deep conditioner. <laughs> So before I get into my favorite protective hairstyles, I just wanted to talk to you guys quickly and let you know that I am going to devote way more time to this YouTube channel. I, of all of my social media platforms, my Instagram is growing like crazy, the blog is doing really, really well, but YouTube is eclipsing all of that. Like I'm getting a lot more subscribers now. I just surpassed 100,000 views. That's incredible. Thank you so much, guys. So that's just a sign to me that you guys are liking the content. So I'm gonna to commit to a schedule. I'm gonna post at least one video a week. I'm gonna aim for Sundays. I work full time, can't really do it during the week. On top of that, what else do you guys wanna see on this channel? Do you wanna see more fashion? Do you want to see more beauty? I'm trying hard with the beauty. I'm watching beauty videos like crazy because I want my makeup to be better. And I'm focusing on getting my eye game down right now. I've been watching um, Jennifer Lopez's The Boy Next Door, that crazy stalker movie, which is totally awesome, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, but she rocks a dark brown smoky eye in that movie, and that's what I'm trying to do right here. So yeah. What do you guys want to see? More hair videos, more fashion videos, more beauty, all of it? Please let me know. So yeah, let's uh, wrap up all the chit chat and let's get into my favorite protective hairstyles. One last thing, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, it means a lot. Okay, let's do this. So first up is a chignon, and that's when you wrap your hair in a bun and then pin it and then sort of pull it so that it looks like a big roll in the back. It's like very chic and very elegant, and I don't do it well whatsoever. So my mom was just here, and she taught me how to do it with one of these goodie hairpins. I got this at the grocery store for like $8.99. Maybe I'm super cheap, but is that really expensive or is it just me? Because this truth looks like a giant paper clip to me. <laughs> Anyways, she showed me how to do it and now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, you make a bun. So I'm going to just fluff it up a bit here at the roots. This is like just a quick little easy hairdo. I'm not using a comb or anything. Um, this look I liken to you know, just a messy bun, very kind of like, you can make it sexy and bed heady, but yeah, just, I always have these bangs. I gotta grow them out. But yeah, just twist it up into a bun. I'll just show you how it looks in the back.
now that the chignon is done in the back, I just like play with my bangs and pull out a few tendrils so it looks kind of soft and romantic around the face. And then I'm going to just pull that out a bit at the top so it has a bit of volume. Not doing a great job here, but you get the gist. But yeah, that's how it looks from the side. I think this is really elegant. I'm going to definitely wear this for work and your hair is all protected. The ends are all tucked in in the back. So yeah, that is one look. Let's see the others. So this is my second favorite protective style. I actually don't do this too much because the bun is so big. I have so much hair that when I get into my car, it like hits the roof of my car and yeah. <laughs> But I love it. I love a big, gorgeous bun. So all I did was put my hair into a high ponytail and wrap it around loosely. And I've secured it with two bobby pins on either side. But I think this is a very cute and adorable little look. And your hair is off your shoulders and off sweaters and off coats so it's not rubbing up against those things and breaking it. So yeah, definitely cute and I'm definitely going to be doing more of these in the new year. I like it. It's totally adorable. And it's so funny, when I wear my hair like this, my husband always kind of chases me around and squashes my bun. Hey, at least he's chasing me, right? <laughs> okay, on to the next hairdo. So this is my third and last favorite protective hairstyle. I really like this. I think it's super cute. And when I'm going to work and have a little time in the morning, I will do this look. So what I've done is I've parted a front section of hair and just did a twist. So I've twisted the hair this way. And sometimes I'll do a braid, but I need more time for that. And um, I secure it with a little clip here. And then I comb all of my hair to the side and put it in a low side ponytail and then twist everything up into a bun. This is secured, um, like uh, the twist I've secured with a little alligator clip that I've taken out. And then the bun is secured with a um, really loose, um, no grip, hair elastic and uh, two bobby pins. So yeah, I just think it's, there's just a little side view. I think it's really elegant and quite chic. And uh, yeah, I really love it. Whenever I wear this hairstyle, I get a ton of compliments on it. And um, it's protected, my ends are all tucked in, and it doesn't rub against my clothing or you know jackets or anything or scarves. And so yeah, it's um, a protective hairdo that looks great at the same time. So that wraps up this video on my favorite protective hairstyles, along with my quick review on the Garnier Whole Blends Legendary Olive Collection. Please try that stuff out. I thought it was amazing. It is super thick, super moisturizing, and incredibly detangling. And the leave-in conditioner made my, feel, my hair feel fantastic. I really, really liked it. So don't forget, let me know in the comments what you want to see more of on my channel. Fashion, beauty, more hair stuff, or all three. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe. I am getting close to 3,000 subscribers. That would be awesome. I can't wait to hit that. And wishing you all the best in 2017. So that is it and I will catch you in the next video, okay? Bye for now and Happy New Year!